welcome back y'all it's me the wavy gamer back at you with another gta 5 online video in this video i'm gonna show y'all solo duplication glitch using the uh deluxos all right y'all so hit that like button subscribe if you're new if you're not new stay tuned all right so let's get into it all right you don't need a nightclub for this all right you can use any garage it just so happens my uh deluxo is coming from my nightclub garage all right so you need a deluxo an lg rh8 and the moc all right that simple okay i'm just uh i'm in the menu right now just to show you that i do have a deluxo in this garage it's just over at morse mutual right now because i just claimed it all right it was destroyed a little bit ago but it belongs to this garage so i'm gonna get started with the glitch i'm gonna hop in my lg rh8 and i'm gonna drive it outside that's all you want to do with your rh8 you want to have it outside you don't need custom plates for this glitch either because you'll go, you're going to get the plate from the rh8 on your deluxo so here we go i'm inside my rh8 I'm just going to drive it outside and leave it there. Well, you know, it's there. <laughs> All right. I tried to jump over the wall, but that didn't really work out. I made a couple of mistakes during this video. I didn't see them until I didn't really pay much attention to them until I went to go do the voiceover. But shout out to Salt and Remix. Excuse me. Shout out to Salt and Remix. All right. So after you park your uh, LG RH8, what you want to do is hop in uh, a streetcar and basically i'm not going to say drive two three blocks you just want to drive far away enough that you can call the mechanic and request your deluxo all right just to be safe i drove pretty damn far all right boom here we go all right so now you want to get out that streetcar while your lg rh8 is still out on the street and call the mechanic and request your deluxo from whatever garage it's at once your uh, Deluxo gets there, you're gonna fly over to the airport. We're gonna go, basically, basically we're gonna do a wall breach. We're gonna go through the wall and end up under the map. All right, to do this glitch, you gotta go under the map. So, yeah. Up my bad, y'all. Pay, pay close attention to the video because I made the mistake of not um, opening up my map and marking and, you know, uh, putting a waypoint on the spot where you're supposed to go under the map at. All right, so. I'm going to show it to you and describe it to you the best way I can. Also, another thing. You saw the um, the club that I had. The club that I have is right down the street from Los Santos Customs and Lester's Warehouse. That's the nightclub you have to have to, have to do this glitch. I'm sorry. Got to have that particular nightclub to do this glitch. As far as I know. All right. Because it didn't work for me at the Del Perro nightclub. All right. So now we're over at the uh, airport. I cut the video short because, like I said, uh, nightclub was all the way over there by Lester and whatnot, so it took a while to get there. But here we are, we're at the airport. All right, I flew past it, turned around. Here we go, right here. Um, I suck at flying this damn thing, I really fucking do. So it's gonna take me like three tries to get in there. What you want to do is basically get into that little crevice right there. All right, as you see, I messed up. I'm gonna back up and try again. All right, here we go. Didn't get it that time. Just tearing my car all up. All right, here we go. Press A, go to hover mode. We get it this time. Boom, we're in. All right, now what you want to do is turn right around and fly underneath the airport. All right, I actually did the waypoint the spot where we're actually going to finish the glitch at which isn't far from where we are now so that's a good thing but that uh that space where i just uh went under the map at that shouldn't be too hard to find it's like right behind los santos customs by the airport all right so once you get over here by the runway you get up under the runway i'm gonna open up the map and i'm gonna show you where to go all you're really going to do is once you're sitting in the right spot you're going to press a to turn off your hover mode let your car drop drop down and you're like you're going to land on an uh invisible barrier once you hit that invisible barrier you want to wait till your mini map starts to turn black and then you want to hit the gas so i'm gonna press a right here drop barrier which is actually a garage i watch my mini map hold the gas as soon as it turns black, you just want to hold the gas. And as of right now, I'm still holding the gas during this black screen. I'm not going to let go of the gas until I spawn it, until I'm able to see my car. And once I'm able to see my car, I won't have a custom plate anymore. I'm going to take the plate from the RH8. 
All right, see, there you go. My fleet changed, and you actually spawn near your nightclub. All right, so that's a good thing, too. All right, um, once you're back at your nightclub, you just want to open up the interaction menu and request your MOC. Make sure you guys have personal vehicle storage and make sure there's nothing in your MOC. That way you can put the car in there. But as you see, I'm like right down the street from Los Santos Customs. That's where this uh, nightclub is. If I were to make a left and go right down the street, I'd be at Los Santos, right around the corner from Leicester. All right, so now that my MOC is spawned onto the map, I'll fly over to my MOC, press right on the D-pad, take the car inside. Once it's inside of my MOC, take it out. I'm just going to put it back in the same garage that the, the original came from. The same spot where the LG RH8 was from. And that's it. Now, the best part about this glitch is it isn't as profitable as the LG Retro Customs because they sell for like 900000 or whatever. These only sell for about 270000 a piece because you only get money for upgrades. And being as though Benny's cars take the most upgrades, that's why they sell for the most. But the good part about this glitch is I only did it once simply because I have a bunch of retros, so I don't really have much use for a car that only sells for 270000 But I, I made a duplicate of my car like I'm doing right now. I duplicated my car and I sold the original. The original sells for 3.1 million. So I sold my original, got 3.1 million, and just kept the duplicate in my garage. So it's, it's a quick come up, you feel what I'm saying? So if you guys really don't need it because you can do the retro glitch, then cool. You feel what I'm saying? Keep doing your retro glitch. But if you just want to make some quick money real fast, you know what I'm saying? It's completely solo, make you 3.1 million. Do this once, duplicate your car, sell the original, make 3.1 million, and keep the duplicate. All right, if you guys just dying for a solo glitch, there you go. It's completely solo. All right, so... After I took it out of my MOC, I drove it back to the garage that I originally started at. You don't have to put it in that garage. After you take it out of your MOC, you can put it in any garage, but I just took it back to that garage just to show you. All right, it's in the same spot where that RH8 was at the beginning of the video. And you see my, uh, my original one back there. All right, so what I'm about to do now is I'm about to go hop in my original and go sell it and get that 3.1 million. But anyway, that's the glitch right there. Solo duplication glitch, deluxe glitch after patch 1.44. It's me, the Wavy Gamer. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.